Are you ready to unlock the full potential of your smart TV by installing third-party apps? Before we begin, make sure you like, subscribe and comment on this video. Your support helps us create more helpful content for you. In this video, we will guide you through the process of installing third-party apps on your smart TV. We will cover the reasons you might want to install these apps and the steps you need to take. Whether you're tech, savvy or a novice, this guide is designed to be easy to follow. We will discuss different methods for different TV brands. This includes Samsung, LG, Sony and others. By the end of part one, you will have a clear idea of how to get started. Let's get into the detailed steps. First, we will look at the common issues you might face. Then, we will go through the steps for each brand. Firstly, some smart TVs do not allow third-party apps by default. This is because manufacturers want to ensure the security and stability of their devices. However, there are ways to bypass these restrictions. For Samsung TVs, you will need to enable developer mode. Go to the settings menu and select Smart Hub. From here, go to Apps. Once in Apps, you will see an option to enter a PIN. The default PIN is usually zero. After entering the PIN, press the S button on your remote. This will enable developer mode. Once developer mode is enabled, you will need to set your TV to accept apps from unknown sources. Go back to the settings menu and select personal. Then select security. Here you will see an option to allow installation from unknown sources. Turn this option on. Next, you need to download the app file, known as an APK file, onto a USB stick. Insert the USB stick into your TV. Go to the My Files app on your TV, find the APK file and select it. Your TV will ask if you want to install the app. Confirm and the app will install. For LG TVs, the process is slightly different. LG uses a different operating system called WebOS. You need to use the LG Content Store to find and download apps. However, for third-party apps, you will need to use a computer. On your computer, go to the website of the app you want to install, download the APK file, transfer the APK file to an IAELPK file to a USB stick, insert the USB stick into your TV. Open the File Manager app on your TV. Find the APK file and select it. Your TV will ask if you want to install the app. Confirm and the app will install. Sony TVs use the Android operating system. This makes it a bit easier to install third-party apps. First, go to the Google Play Store on your TV. Search for Downloader and install it. Open the Downloader app. Enter the URL of the APK file you want to download. The app will download the file and ask if you want to install it. Confirm and the app will install. For other brands, the process can vary. Generally, you will need to enable installation from unknown sources. This is usually found in the security settings. You will also need to download the APK file onto a USB stick. Insert the USB stick into your TV and use a file manager to install the app. Remember, installing third-party apps can come with risks. These apps are not always verified by the TV manufacturer. This means they could potentially harm your device. Always download a PK files from trusted sources. If you encounter any issues, check online forums for help. Many TV brands have active communities where users share tips and solutions. You can also consult the user manual for your TV. In part two of this video, we will cover more advanced methods. This includes using an ADB connection and sideloading apps. Stay tuned for that. For part two of this video, we will discuss 
some advantages and disadvantages of installing third-party apps on your smart TV. One advantage is that you get access to a wider range of content. Official app stores might not have all the apps you want. Third, party apps can fill this gap. Another advantage is that you can customize your viewing experience. Some third-party apps offer features that official apps do not. This can make your TV more enjoyable to use. A disadvantage is that third-party apps can be risky. They are not always checked for security. This could make your TV vulnerable to malware. Another disadvantage is that these apps might not be stable. They can crash or cause your TV to freeze. This can be frustrating when you are trying to watch something. An advantage is that some third-party apps are free. You can save money by not paying for premium apps. This is a big plus for budget-conscious users. A disadvantage is that third-party apps might not get regular updates. This means they could stop working overtime. Official apps usually get updates to fix bugs and improve performance. Another advantage is that you can get early access to new apps. Some developers release their apps as third, party downloads first. This means you can try new features before they are available in the official store. A disadvantage is that installing third-party apps can void your TV's warranty. Manufacturers might not support issues caused by these apps. This is something to keep in mind. Before we move on to the rest of the video, if you are finding this helpful, please like, subscribe and comment as it really helps this video reach a wider audience. Here is a case study related to how to install third-party apps on a smart TV. David from Manchester had a Samsung smart TV, but he wanted to install a third-party app to watch his favourite shows that were not available on the Samsung App Store. He followed the steps to enable developer mode and allowed installation from unknown sources. After downloading the APK file onto a USB stick, he successfully installed the app and now enjoys a broader range of content. Another example is Sarah from London who owns an LG Smart TV. She needed a specific app for her fitness routine that was not available in the LG content store. She downloaded the APK file on her computer and transferred it to a USB stick. By using the file manager on her TV, she installed the app without any issues and now has a more customized workout experience. If you are considering installing third-party apps on your smart TV, always start by checking your TV's settings to enable installations from unknown sources Follow the specific steps for your TV brand, whether it's Samsung, Al Gore or Sony. This will make the process smoother and ensure you do not miss any vital steps. Also, make sure you download a PK files from trusted sources to avoid any security risks. Use online forums and user manuals for additional help if you encounter any problems. This will help you keep your TV safe and running smoothly. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. It really helps us and would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching.